Hey guys and girls, Shady Matt UK here. Uh, just giving you a bit of an update on uh, another project. As you can see, well, actually, I've just cleaned this, so <laughs> not just, but <sighs> I've been using the 1x30, and today I thought I would use it to do bevels for the first time. Uh, mainly because I couldn't work out how to file the bevels on my latest project. Which is right here. This is coming along real nice. It's going to be chisel ground. I'm going for a double edge, but what I'm thinking I might do is make this back edge uh, like a false edge. I'm not completely sharp. And then go for full sharpness on the inside edge. Um, the belt's quite slack, so it's convex. I don't think I've seen a convex hawk build before. But, uh, yeah, it's working. Uh, you can see in the pencil there where I'd kind of imagined the grind lines were going to go. But uh, I just kind of went with how it naturally felt to do, and it's kind of a bit more curved. Harder to get a, a straight edge when you're doing a... or a straight line for the bevels when you're doing a, a hawk bill. But yeah, this is... Uh, 0.136 inch thick, 1080 plus. You can see I kind of slipped a bit on the drilling, but I'm thinking either going to just have two pins here, or I might go for three. One, two, or three. This thing is really, really light. Uh, overall, five and a half inches. Uh, this inside edge from uh, Ricasso to tip is exactly two, two point eight, I think it is. Uh, and this back edge from right here is three if I decide to sharpen it. But yeah, I just thought I would uh, share it with you. Let's see if I can show you how it fits in hand. It fits really nice. I can't see what I'm doing now because I'm looking through the viewfinder. Got a brake on the back as well. Fits the hand. It fits my hand perfectly. And uh, yeah, my first attempt at a karambit. I can tell this uh, ring isn't perfectly circular. It has a, a slight, slight egg shape. You can just see here as it comes back into the handle, it's slightly oval. But it's not bad, I drilled it out with uh, uh, 5 30 seconds and 3 16 drill bits. Round and round and round and round. Uh, and then smaller drill bits just to fill in the gaps and then eventually put the file to it uh, try and break away some of the, the chunks that were still connected uh, completely killed my small round file, snapped it twice <laughs> but um, considering I don't have any machine tools I don't think that's too bad and then I basically just ran like around and around and around with a, with a Dremel with a large sanding drum and I think it's coming out really good. Lights hitting it nice. Uh, so we have, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to do uh, toxic green liners with coarse black G10 over the top. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm really happy with it because a lot of people said I wouldn't be able to do it. But uh, I'm doing it. 